That's right, and, and not be pushed around. Mr. Callahan, Nick would put a half a dozen holes right through you by the time you got that shotgun cocked and ready. Now you don't want that, do you? Maybe he wouldn't, maybe he wouldn't. But we're not going to be pushed off land that we paid our hard-earned cash for. I see. Silas, would you take the gentleman's hat? Perhaps I can get you something, a glass of port or tea. And he can't hide behind his mother's skirts, either. Well, you don't want to shoot me, do you? I only want what's right. Silas, do we have any Irish whiskey? Perhaps Mr. Callahan would join me in a glass. A gentleman wouldn't refuse. Don't be using your grand manners with me. This is no business for a woman to be meddling in, if you pardon my saying so. Well, perhaps it would have been better if a woman had meddled from the beginning. Now, I'm very sorry for what's happened, Oh, Mr. you're Callahan. sorry? Then why is he pushing six families out to starve? My son, Jared, checked the land agent who swindled you when we were in San Francisco. He's wanted by the law, and you have absolutely no legal rights to... Come on! Get out of this house! Oh, put down that ridiculous gun. Nick, stop shouting when I'm speaking to a guest. Mother, that's the squatter I was telling you about. Nick, come down here. You don't want Mr. Callahan to shoot me while you're gone, do you? I'm sorry, Mrs. Barclay. I came here to shoot your son, not you. Oh, well, then you'll want to drop before the serious work. Sit down, Mr. Callahan. Your health, Mrs. Barkley. And bad luck to your son. Callahan, get out of this house. What kind of a hooligan are you busting into a man's home? Nick, apologize to our guest. That'll be the day. Such rudeness. How do you put up with it, Mrs. Barkley, from your own side? Callahan, do you get out of here or I'll throw you out. Nick, you sit over there. I said... Your health. May it all be bad. Oh, you both could do one sensible thing. What's that? Stop insulting each other. You'll pardon me, Mrs. Barkley. You're a fine woman, but there's lots about your son needs insulting. <clears throat> now, I don't think that's very funny, Mr. Callahan. I'm trying hard to make sense out of this thing. Sense? You'll never make sense with that bullheaded hooligan. Nick, please. Now, you must find the man who took your money and get it back. Until then, tell your people they can stay where they are. Stay where they are! Well, that's a decent offer, Mrs. Barkley. You're a fine woman. You stay where they are, and Callahan will go off hunting this swindler of his if one ever existed, and that'll be the last we'll see of him for six months. And then we'll never get rid of them. And if I stay here long enough, they get squatter's rights, and every court in the country will back them up. No, they won't. And, Mr. Callahan, when you do get your money back, buy some other property. Our land is not for sale. Is that clear? Fair enough. I promise you we'll leave as soon as we get our legs under us. Good. Now shake hands. With him? No, no, no. I no. want you both to go together and find that man. Together? Now, Mother, what sense is there in that? Where's your respect for your mother? Shake hands. Well, do what your mother says. off your property. Callahan, there's, a, there's some land as dry as a bone. We can't even get a buzzard to live on it. It's a, about 70 miles south of here. All we do is pay taxes on it. But with irrigation, all I'm trying to say is you can farm it. That is, if you think you're mad enough. But with hard work, you might be able to make something on it. Don't do us no favors. Land's no good the way it is. People know how to work, just might make something out of it. Well, it's, it's kind of charity, no matter how you put it. How oh, Irish can an Irishman be? Is this your mother's idea? No, it's his. Maybe it's about time you stop being poor proud and learn how to accept something. We accept. And we thank you. Uh, you want to go along and uh, help him get settled? Love to. In the map. Callahan, see if you can find it without getting on the wrong side of someone's fence, huh? The next time the sign goes up, it's going to stay up for good. 